Transformers are a simple way of creating high voltages. All transformers have a primary winding and a secondary one. Here the primary winding is on the right and the secondary high voltage winding is on the left. These plates are in place to prevent the transformer from arcing to itself and thus destroying it. With a simple transistor, a diode and a resistor, flyback transformer as this one can be driven. The circuit creates a high current signal that rushes into the primary winding, leading to a high voltage on the secondary winding. This arc is approximately 5000 volts, as 1000 volt can jump approximately 1 millimeter. Yet this transformer doesn't produce much of a current, so it's completely safe. On the other hand, this is a microwave transformer. The primary coil is connected to the mains and the secondary then outputs 2 kV at 50 Hz and can draw nearly 1 ampere, which is extremely dangerous. I'm using a capacitor here to limit the current and a safety stick to stay far away from the high voltage. Now there's a simple circuit that can increase every AC voltage. It's called a voltage multiplier. It takes multiple phases to charge up and the current is limited by the capacitors used. Yet its output can be impressive. The schematic shown is a 4 stage multiplier, but these can be increased as needed. The output voltage is equal to the input voltage times the amount of stages. Once we power it up, you can see that each stage has a higher potential. Sadly, my phone shutter doesn't pick up most of the arcs. As you might have noticed, the circuit hisses substantially. This means it ionizes the air and thus loses its charge. I wanted to try submerging it in oil to keep it insulated. Perhaps with that the output voltage could be even higher. As a sign point, olive oil has a pretty good insulating properties.
With that the hissing is gone, but I'm not noticing a substantial voltage increase. It's still around 10 kV, but the arc frequency might have slightly increased. With that, thank you for watching.